this video is for all cat owners, both indoor and outdoor cats. Don't worry, I won't show scary pictures in this video. I'll just tell you verbally with friendly pictures. I did this research on which cat color was the safest because I think it's important to highlight how dangerous ordinary, seemingly harmless cat color can be if they don't have a quick release or snap opening. First of all, how tight should the cat color be? On most websites, the experts say that you should at least be two fingers between the collar and the cat's neck. For my cat, he has wider space than that, but for many, this is what is considered best. Now I will start with examples of different cat collars, which are good and which are bad. Here is an elastic collar that I had and thought was safe to use, but is not safe at all. I found horrifying cases of cats getting their whole arm stuck in the collar and being strangled something I won't show pictures of. As I said, this applies to both indoor and outdoor cats. An elastic collar is not safe. Microchip is said to be the absolute safest method for the cat. In other words, no collars at all. But if you want to use collars regardless, the ones that look like this are the best option. As I mentioned at the beginning, they have a breakaway, quick release or snap opening. There are several different words for it. It means that if the cat gets stuck, it opens the entire collar and the cats are now free. The worst examples of cat collars are those that do not have a safety breakaway and are not elastic either, but those that the cat can easily get stuck in and cause the cat to suffocate. Please don't use them unless it's just for a casual photo shoot where you have full control and you take it off right away. Now I wonder, do you use cat collars on your cat? And which one do you have? I hope this video can be helpful for some. Thank you. Bye.